I think AI is going to change everything. It's not CX is going to change everything. I think the customer experience or the employee experience is everything that we feel day to day. What I feel is the other way back, AI will be infused and injected and everything today that includes my experience and your experience dealing with retail, e-commerce, healthcare, banking, finance, going to take your kids to home, uh, engage with your own parents, uh, the family, the community. And that's, I think, the, the shift of the game where we need to go and rebuild this around something meaningful to, uh, to the community. Hi, my name is Ahmed Umar. I'm the Vice President of Customer Experience in EAN Enterprise. I look at the customer experience portfolio that include engagement solutions through MarTech, CPaaS, Contact Center, CRM, and BB Outsourcing. What we do basically is to revamp consumer interaction to the brand in something meaningful and drive values to the enterprise customer. Actually, uh, the question itself represents the answers. This is where most of the enterprise customers have moved their mindset from an actual transactional based engagement into a holistic customer experience journey. From the time that you actually promote for the brand until you build a clear loyalty uh, uh, plan for your own customers. Now, when the CIOs and the CTOs of the organizations or the brand used to think about infrastructures and technologies, we came up with a new set of uh, uh, mindful uh, creative approach of uh, re-engineering and assessing your actual touch points when it comes to the customers. Probably you might have some of those legacy infrastructure available. You've spent uh, money and budget across them, but there might be a smooth horizontal uh, aggregator line that you can bring that can collect all of these touch points from your business processes and create something seamless to them. It's always start with enriching the actual value for the customers and how can you improve it also for your internal employees or agents that interact with them. So when it comes to transforming those transactional engagements, first you need to look at the final results, your actual KPIs that you are trying to achieve, the objective, the business mindset that you want to do from an acquisition or a retention, and then try to translate this into these tweaks of what the application technologies or even the people can provide to you. And usually the answer is not one size fits all, it depends on the industry, the vertical, the use case, and also the consumer journey, and at the end, the persona that you are interacting with. Budgets are not tied toward the actual value that's been created. When you have a clear acquisition plan for a valuable set of customers, the values could be 6x, 10x, or 20x. And when it comes to operational savings, it can go into a positive EBITDA or an improvement of your OPEX intensity. I think we have to deal with AI in a responsible way when it comes to translating these technologies into business outcomes. And we need to deal with it in bits and pieces. Uh, I would always start with data, data being king. Data is the actual commodity, is the actual mind, uh, uh, gold mine that all the enterprise customers need to look uh, up to. Once you really build a very concrete and stable uh, and rich unified data platform from your first data party or a third party data. You will be able to unify all of this into a very consolidated persona and you will be able to go and build up the experience that you want from your customers. Now, when you build this infrastructure, a very strong infrastructure of your data and AI, then you will come up with the experience model that you want to translate through the Gen AI. And for sure, uh, the objective of the Gen AI is to become more proactive the engagement that you have today with your consumer, build a real hyper-personalized approach that goes proactively. The offer will come to you before you even think about it. You will have your discounted scheme for you and your family members before their birthdays or their anniversaries, and you will be able to go and address all of your concerns before it happens. So one, the, the success formula will be, one, a rich, unified, unified data, then you can build all of your AI logic personalized to the consumer interaction. And I would like to address this in a more humanized approach, and this is why we call it artificial human intelligence. 
the logic has always been uh, driven by human mindsets. The AI components will always learn over time based on the models that you will go and provide to them. I think, first of all, we need to look at the infrastructure. The actual uh, human components that deliver the actual logic will always be delivered by AI engineers. Now, I believe today there is 20 to 40 percent of these components that should be automated. The self-management, the intuitive agreement that you have today between you and the brand, and how would you really address these concerns ahead of time? Now, the other part, when it comes to a different persona, people above 60, people with uh, uh, special requirements, these are people need to be addressed with really humanized engagements and probably premium customer in some of the brands uh, also would like to have the face-to-face -face interaction. So I would assume today that mass will deliver quality once you learn it. So one use case can really be addressed by multiple people uh, if you really address it in a very well-structured approach. I think this is a very important um, question that dear to my heart. And I think it's also dear to the brand that we are in today. Uh, one of the things that we started to do is to build AI as a culture. We've introduced AI programs. We introduced chief AI officers. We built programs in terms of learning curve. In fact, it's a KPI across all the executive right now to address AI in a way or another through learning and education. We've created an AI academy. We run hackathons. That's actually external for people uh, to learn more and develop more capabilities. And we've engaged our own internal stakeholders. Now, when it comes to the agents, the current agents' capabilities is actually humanized to an extent that is very for them, very difficult for them to really make the logic of the AI. It's either an AI agent or a human agent. However, the people who's actually managing these contact center or these command centers are actually the people who build the logics around the AIs, and these are part of the uh, managements and the executive teams who are mandatory uh, uh, by uh, by their superiors and their, by their managers to take an AI uh, course or an AI education track at a point of time. How do you address that? That's a very good question. Now it depends on the use case, it depends on the vertical that they are in, and it depends also on the sensitivity of the problem that you are solving. Between healthcare and life critical mission use cases to retail, e-commerce, or entertainment, there is a span, uh, a, a wider range of data privacy. I would like someone to know about my lifestyle habits, my entertainment uh, trends, uh, the direction that I want to do for my educational uh, dreams. And I want that to be automated. I want a co-pilot to help me go and find my track of uh, evolutions when it comes to education or entertainment. But when it comes to the healthcare, that's another privacy that needs to be dealt with. And for that, we have that component of the on-prem setup with your AI and data capabilities need to be meant for you. So there is a thin line between what is exactly is private and non-private, and it will always depend on either the technology, uh, the, the vertical that you are in, or the use case that you are trying to address. What's coming next for it? I think before we start to talk about EngageX, EAN Enterprise is meant to enrich and evolve the engagements for the society. We are trying to enrich people's lives, uh, style in much better way, uh, connected, enriched, uh, uh, value-driven engagement across everything. Enterprises today are building uh, infrastructure setups of cloud capabilities. We secure this, we build the application layer that have the different use cases, and then eventually comes to the consumer with a very meaningful and personalized experience. The last component is where we are in as EngageX, bringing a human uh, personalized uh, experience through the whole journey is where we build different capabilities through technology, people, and processes. So before we start to talk about technology, we like to address this by the experience revamp and building an engineered customer journey that makes sense to that specific persona. Be it the Gen Z, Gen X, the baby boomers, the people who are trying to approach it through physical or digital channels. But all of this comes under uh, what we call it the EngageX or the customer experience function within EAN Enterprise.